Gilbert Tubers and Brick fans. Welcome to my um, 23rd episode of the LEGO City Airport, set number 3182, here on the LEGO City Update Show. That's right, we'll be doing the review of the LEGO City Airport, and uh, it contains 703 pieces, and it has like five minifigs. It was supposed to have a five minifigs, but I'm missing two minifigures, which is the flight attendant and the pilot, so I found three of them. And hopefully I'll list the missing items in the missing pieces list. Anyways, this is a big one, it's a city airport, 3182, and it's very amazing. And I love this set, it's all because of the airplane, a big airplane. Yeah, it's a big, massive airplane. It's pretty little detail that I love this set, it's all because of that airplane. And um, I also love this set because of this airport. And it's released in 2010, or well, 2010. And yeah, so let's get on to the review, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Brick Fans and Brick Tubers, so this is my review of the Lego City Airport, set number 3182. It contains 703 pieces. It comes with uh, two vehicles and five minifigures. I mean, it was supposed to come with five minifigures, but all I have is like three. Two of them are missing. So all I have is three. What I'm missing is the flight attendant and the pilot. Anyways, it's released in 2010. And uh, yeah. So let's do the beauty figures. So this is the uh, ground management guy. What he's holding is the uh, marshalling ones. And I like the way he's holding these two. And he looks like he's wearing a construction suit. But mostly it's the uh, ground management guy. He's wearing an orange work suit. There's nothing in the back. And he's got a zipper in his pockets. His hard hat is red, and uh, his face feels like he's ready for, ready for, um, his face he tells, tells me that he's ready for action. Yeah, or something. And let's do this uh, passenger right here. So this is a passenger and he looks young to me. What he's wearing is a Hawaiian shirt. A light blue Hawaiian shirt or cyan blue. He's got his blue pants. And as you can see in the back, it, all I can see is like palm trees and the sun and the beaches and the sunset. There's nothing in the sides. And his hair is uh, brown. And he has a smile on his face because it tells me that uh, he's ready to go on a vacation. Okay, let's do this. So this is the, some kind of steward guy. And he's wearing an airport suit. And as you can see there, he's got an airplane symbol and his badge and his ID card, name card or something. He's wearing a blue tie and a blazer, gray pants. There's nothing in the back. And his hair is, um, uh, brown and, it's, and he looks young to me. He looks as if he is a high school student or, or His face tells me if he's like doing this as a part-time job Or working part-time job or something like that Now let's do the vehicles. So this is the baggage car It's pretty looking detailed and I, and I like this. It's all because of the uh, area where you can where you can like uh, load the back load the luggage. And I think it's for the um, ground management guy who operates that. As you can see, it's got stairs. What you can do is that you can uh, put the stairs into this uh, great big airplane right here. Oh, sorry. Let me open this. 
there. Just uh, open that. Anyways, let's just put it like that. We could put the stairs and make the and load the passengers or board the passengers there before they start flying. As you can see, the baggages. As you can see, the briefcases are brown. Three of them are brown. And yeah, so this baggage car is pretty looking detail. All right, let's do the plane. This is a this is a great big airplane. I can tell. It's pretty looking detail because of the doors and the windows and uh, features. Let me just take a look what's inside. There we go. What you can do is that you can put the stairs here and board the passengers in the air. Now let's take it inside the cabin. Take a look inside the cabin. Sorry about that. So this is the cabin. Or I can say this is like a first class cabin. It's pretty really detailed. And here's the uh, economy class. The cabin looks pretty detailed and it's got tables, mugs, and it's got like tabs and some kind of micro, some kind of like wardrobe or something. And this is the cockpit. It's looking detailed because of the uh, video displays and the screens and the throttles and the control sticks that the pilots use to fly an airplane. Let me just put the one by three uh, plate to this. And in the back, it's got some like compartments. On the outside, I mean, it's got compartments and it's looking detailed. And it's got like windows. And I almost forgot to tell you. You can also put the briefcases or suitcases or carry-ons into the back area of the airplane. And I like that plane. So that's the uh, airplane right here. Let's just put this thing here. And I'll show the other And then I'll show you the other features of this airplane. There we go. As you can see this airplane door that you can open and close. It's got the, uh, the red studs, red Lego studs. It opens and closes by the Technic pieces and this Lego stick right here. Now let's do the engines. The turbines are pretty looking detailed, just like, uh, it looks like a Boeing 767 or a 777 or a 787 Dreamliner engine. It's looking detailed. It looks like a real airplane. So these are the red and green lights which are the uh, red and green lights here on the wings and here are the gladiator grills on the wings the tail is looking like pretty detailed because of that white symbol here I don't know what that is it looks like a Lego airport Lego Airlines or something, Lego City Airlines or something. And the landing gears are looking detailed. So I love that. So this, now let's do the airport. So this is the airport, and I can tell, and, and I'm gonna say that 
Let's look in detail. It's got the seats and the lamp posts. It's got a parking uh, parking lot sign. Here's the um, like the rotary doors or something. Alrighty, let's do the airport. It's looking detailed, I'm gonna tell you that. So, here are the seats for people who can wait for anything. And uh, here's the lamp post, it's looking detailed. Here are the revolving doors that have transparent light blue windows. The revolving doors work by these um, rotary pieces and the ones on the ones on top and the ones on the bottom. And it's got the parking uh, lot sign and as you can see on top this one has this one can say like this way for arrivals and this way for uh, departures and this top is pretty looking detailed I like the way I like the way it looks and uh, it's got antennas now let's do the uh, inside of the airport the inside of the airport is um, uh, looking detailed so it's got a, a restaurant here a new restaurant or something this is the uh, check-in. This this is the uh, check-in baggage area where the steward works. I guess we could place it like around here. And this yellow stuff is that where you could put the um, briefcase, scissors, or any suitcases or luggage to here. Yeah. And this is so it's the other one here. And here's the microwave. It's pretty looking detailed. Transparent is like light blue. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about the check-in baggage desk. It's looking detailed. I think it's an area where the passengers can give the tickets to the steward. And uh Here's the computer, and here are the transparent lights, and here's the um, copy area or the break area or something. So here's the um, arrivals and departures board. It's got Paris, Berlin, Rome, Tokyo, New York, London, and Billund and uh, Madrid. It's got the times of uh, arrivals and time of departures here, and yeah, it's pretty good in detail. And as you can see, for for the break room, it's also got the, this mug and this um, button thing. It was supposed to have a button, but I'm missing that piece, and I'll list that piece in the missing pieces list. I might say the interior part of the airport is pretty little detail, so let's do the tower. Okay, this is the air traffic control tower. I think it's for the... Uh... Yeah, this is the air traffic control tower, where the air traffic controller controls the planes, or where they... I think... This is the uh, area where the air traffic controller tells the planes where to go and where to go and where to wait or tells the planes whatever they want or something. For example, like the air traffic controller tells the planes to like wait for other planes to like wait for the planes turn on the runways or taxiways or something. So this is the control panel. It's pretty looking detailed and the windows that are like slope 
kind of sloped shapes or something, or transparent blue, and it's pretty looking detail. Let's see, it's got this flower thing. And here's the radar. You can turn this uh, radar thing by these technic pieces, by pushing it or something. I might say it's pretty little detail. What you can do with these windows is that you can um, make the windows like open and then make the windows like close. I might say that this ATC tower is looking detailed. It's just, and it looks like realistic to me, isn't it? And uh, it looks like as if we're in the real airport right now. Yeah. And here's the area where they can like, um, here's the work area for the ground management guy. And here's the uh, fuel that looks like an off tan fuel or something. And here's the computer screen or something. And here's the lamppost. It's pretty little detail. Oh, and one more thing before I um, uh, end this video. I'll show you how it looks like if I uh, put this uh, 3181, which is the uh, Bombardier, which, which is the like the uh, the passenger plane that my little brother Sammy built and I might say it would look great if we put like two planes in here with the whole yeah I might say it would look great if we uh, put the two airplanes and this will make it look like a real airport alrighty ladies and gentlemen now I've got this passenger plane and with this passenger plane, it looks really beautiful. And now that's what I call a big Lego City Airport right here. It's pretty looking detail. If you put the uh, two airplanes right here into this airport right here. My little brother Sammy built this amazing airplane and I really loved it. Yeah. So now that's what I call a Lego City Airport right here. Yeah, and it's pretty looking realistic. And yeah, so that's the airport, set number 3182. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, see you on the 24th episode, Brick fans.